Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to explain the amazing clip from the movie Hawking, in which Stephen Hawking, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, proposes his idea to Roger Penrose about the creation of universe, the Big Bang, which later got him his PhD. So in this video, we tried our best to simplify the explanation of the statements as Look, the past is passing. Bye. Before we begin, I want you guys to please subscribe to our channel so that you get updated about all the amazing videos we post every week. You right? What will it all look like? What? What if Einstein is right? About what? Over here, the reference of Einstein is about his theory of general relativity. So, Benedict states that if Einstein was right and if the general relativity is true, then it means that the universe is expanding. Now, let's see further what it has to do with the Big Bang. Time space diagram, what comes first? Wait. Time? Closing After the this, space. Benedict draws a time space diagram. So, let us see what is a time space diagram. Time space diagram can simply be understood as a four-dimensional graphical representation of time dimension and spatial dimension. Thus, the time is stated on the y-axis and one of the spatial dimension can be represented on the x-axis. The same diagram is being drawn by Benedict Cumberbatch in this scene. So guys, uh, to explain it further, I'm going to use pen and paper. Because I cannot be using the entire clip from the movie because that may cause me copyright issues. So, uh, nevertheless, let's uh, try to understand. So, uh, what Benedict Cumberbatch does is to uh, first create an arrow like this and then an arrow like this. Now, instead of watching it in this angle, we must watch it in this way. Because this is going to be the time. And this is going to be a spatial dimension. Okay, so this is time dimension. This is a spatial dimension. So uh, let's start. What he does is to point over here and say that we are at present looking at this point. Okay, so this point denotes the present time. Present observer. So the observer of the present time is watching it from here. So he then uh, pulls the light through backwards and it goes like this. So what he is doing is to take back or reverse the timeline and see what is going to happen with the objects or the light wave. That's where the concepts of the concept of uh, warping space time jumps in. So let us understand what is warping space-time. In order to understand the warping space-time, we need to understand the structure of fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is like a piece of cloth. When this cloth is exposed to high gravity object, it tends to bend it because of the gravitational effect by these objects. Thus, this bends the space-time fabric. And this bending is known as warping of a space-time continuum. Let us come back to our original diagram which was made by Benedict Cumberbatch aka Stephen Hawking. So what happens is in general relativity, space-time is curved not only by massive objects in it but also by the energy in it. That means an uh, energy contained in the space-time at particular moment tends to bend it. But now the question is how it will bend? Outward, inward, how? So the answer to this is energy in this case is always positive. So it gives space-time a curvature that, the, that bends uh, the path of light rays towards each other. That means if, the, if a uh, observer is over here and he sees the light waves going uh, let me change the pen uh, he sees the light waves changing uh, going over here then what he'll see is that the light waves are traveling and are trying to get bent over here 
like this. Now, what happens is, if we again do this from the second side, it will again be like this. Now, that's how the uh, we try to conclude that the past is pear shaped. Well, because it starts looking like a pear. What happens is now when everything starts uh, when everything starts to expand at one point of time it will try to bend to the center or the origin now this center if it is contracting now what is over here the question arrives what is over here the answer to this is space time singularity that means over here is a moment in time space dimension or in our fourth dimension where neither the space or time exist that is nothing exists so we can expect that all of uh, now if we look at look from the point of view from here now we can see everything is now diverging out which is representing a bang, bang. <laughs>